Whether you're making YouTube videos, social media content, or cinematic edit, motion graphics can take your visuals to the next level. Learning the basics is key. Once you get them down, it becomes easier to share big ideas, grab attention, and make your edit communicate more clearly. In this video, I'm going to show you a few simple ways to create motion graphics in CapCut. And today's video is sponsored by Hera. More on that later on. Alright guys, let's get started. Before we jump into CapCut, Cut, let's quickly cover some few things you should know when it comes to motion graphics. First, make it eye-catching. Bold colors, smooth movement, and unique shapes can make people stop and look. Second, make it informative. Every animation should have a purpose, whether that's explaining something or guiding the eye of the viewer. Third, keep it simple. Too much movement gets messy, so keep the animation clean and clear. And finally, make it smooth. This is really important. Use keyframes and basic animations like ease in and out anticipation to keep the animations looking natural. So the first example, we're going to create what you're seeing on the screen. Alright, so we are in CapCut. We already have our background in the timeline. We're going to create the first one using the text file, drag and drop in the timeline. That's selected. I want to go for a dot and I'm going to increase the font size a bit, move it to the center and I'm going to change the color to yellow. Now I'm going to animate that, go to the first frame, scroll down and make a keyframe on transform. Now I can go 20 frames ahead and drop second keyframe on transform. Now use this arrow to to go to the previous keyframe and we're going to move it to the top till it disappears now it's going to come in this way right click on the second keyframe show up preset and we're going to go for cubic out now close this i'm going to bring in one more text file drag and drop in the timeline select that this time around i'm going to go for a white dot increase the font size a bit place it in the middle let's move it below this file and i'm going to make four more duplicates of that just press option or alt and drag upwards let's make a duplicate of this once more drag it to this side and let's increase the font size of that and move it towards this side now with that selected we can change the color to blue it's going to act like a guide for us click on this go to transform make a keyframe on transform and also on opacity now we can go 20 frames ahead we're going to make another keyframe on transform and opacity so now let's use this arrow to go to the first keyframe on opacity we want it to be zero when it's coming in now let's go to transform go to the second keyframe and we're just going to move it towards this side now right click on that show a preset and we can go for cubic ease now i'm going to do it on the rest of the tool and i'm going to repeat the same process and i'll be fast with that part so it is ready and i have something like this in the timeline now i don't need this blue color so we can delete that select this file make a compound clip of that optional alt g take my player to somewhere here make sure i select that file and then go to v Video. we're going to use the rotate parameters so let's just click on rotate and i'm going to take my player to somewhere here and i'm going to drop second keyframe on rotate or i can just increase the value of this so with this let me go for something like 650 right click on that show up preset and let's go for circular ease so when you look at it it's going to slow down and then speed up at the beginning and slow down at the ending now let's add some glow to the whole files click on this first one optional alt g to make a compound clip of it we can go to effect search for glow and we can add glow to to the top one now let's add it to this very one to go for glow and add to that very one and when it comes to motion graphics you need to make it smooth as we said earlier on so we're going to add motion blur to it select the two files optional alt g to make a compound clip of it then go to the right side and turn on motion blur let me show you what it's doing when i take it to the beginning you can see what it's doing now now it is too strong so let's take it to somewhere 20 and let's blend it in nicely and now we have something like this comes in and then rotate around it nicely now let me show you how you can easily create this simple motion graphics using an ai tool called hera the sponsor of today's video so when you open hera go to create it's going to bring you this window then you can type in your prompt right in this side if you have some brand colors already set you can select it right on this side then click on the magic wand for better good results if you want to enhance the prompt you can click on this then you can click on enter so this is what hera was 
was able to generate you can see pretty fast and simple when it comes to Hera. If you want to change the background color you can easily go to this side and you can dial in exactly the color that you want on this very side. From here what you can do is you can go to export, click on that and you can export it right from this side. Hera to me is like ChatGPT for motion graphics. You don't need to be an expert in motion design. You just have to describe what you want through a good prompt and Hera gets it done. These are the features that makes creating motion graphics really fast and easy using Hera. One template. You can start quickly with ready-made designs that save time and give you professional base. Hera AI offers a wide variety of templates to choose from. 2. Brand kit. You can set up your brand colors, font and logos once and Hera will automatically apply them to your animations whenever you include them in your prompt. 3. Manual edit. You can fine-tune everything and make each animation truly your own. Unlike other AI video tools that offers limited control. As a video editor, I use this as a tool to create motion graphics faster and not to replace my creativity. And here's why you should consider implementing Hera AI in your workflow. Hera AI enables faster and easier creation of ready-to-use motion designs. It offers huge time saving compared to building everything from scratch in an editing software. You can click on the link below to try your hands on Hera AI. Thanks to the team at Hera for sponsoring this video. For the second example, we're going to use shapes. I have my background in the timeline. Line, go to text, drag default text in the timeline. Let's delete default text. And I'm using Mac system, so I'll go for control, command, and the space bar. It's going to bring me this character window. You can also get all these shapes on Google. Right click on this and select copy. Let's close this and I'm going to paste it right on this side. Now let me delete the words that it came with. With that selected, make sure you go to the first frame. Let's go to transform, drop keyframe on transform. Now I can go 20 frames names and drop second keyframe on transform. Now use this arrow to go to the previous keyframe and on that side I'm going to rotate it a bit and at the same time I'm going to make it come from this side. So now when you look it's going to rotate it nicely on the screen. Right click on the second keyframe, show a preset and let's go for cubic out. So right when it comes in I want it to multiply and I want it to point at something I want to talk about so it could be a subscribe or cap cut. Let's make a duplicate of this file Oh press option or alt and drag upwards select the down one and let's go to transform drop keyframe on transform now go 20 frames ahead and this time around we're going to use the x axis so i'm going to move it towards this side now when you look it's going to go this way right click on the second keyframe show a preset and this time around i'm going to go for cubic ease and i want to make three or four more on this side and what i can do is make a duplicate of this file drag it below and make sure your plate is on the second keyframe on that side i can drag it towards this side so i'm just changing the second keyframe point on that very far so when you look it's gonna go this way now i'm gonna do two more using the same steps and i'm gonna be fast on that part i'm done and i have something like this in the timeline now we're gonna bring in a text or whatever we're talking about remember it should be informative and direct the eyes of the viewers go to default test drag and drop on the top and let me type in my text i want to use go for the font style i'm gonna go for poppins reduce the size of it and let's place it right on this side so i want it to come in when it's pointing towards that side so i can drag this towards this side i can go to animation and i'm gonna go for showing up animation now i can increase that to somewhere 0.8 seconds and let's just change the color of the text click on this and let's just go for this very color now i'm gonna add glow to this very text file make a compound clip first optional alt g then let's go to effect drag glow and drop on it let's reduce it a bit and also the size a bit and remember when it comes to motion graphics you need to make it smooth so we're going to add motion blur to it select all the files optional alt g then we can go to video motion blur and we can dial it down to somewhere 24 and we can blend it in nicely and now i'll play and show you guys what we did so far and that's all for today guys remember to keep it simple and clear thanks once again to the team at hera for sponsoring this video catch you guys in the next one peace